As one Florida police officer was driving home from a hard day at work, he didn't know he would be tested in ways he had never previously experienced when a three-month-old baby's life was in jeopardy. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose Like and share this video with your friends. They say that a police officer is never off duty, and that statement rang true when Deputy Jeremy Nick saw a woman in distress who was flagging him down on a highway. Nicole Crowell was in her car when she noticed her three-month-old son was having difficulty breathing, and she saw Deputy Nix had stopped at the intersection, not far from her vehicle. Crowell began to frantically wave her arms at the Ocala, Florida deputy, hoping to get his attention. The K-9 deputy, who was returning home after his shift, pulled his car behind the distraught woman's vehicle and discovered a baby who was barely breathing. According to CBS News, the incident was all caught on dash cam video from Deputy Nix's cruiser. He was flagged down by a distressed mother at an intersection and sprang into action to help the baby. You can tell he's completely lifeless, Deputy Nix told WKMG-TV. She just hands him to me and the first words out of her mouth were, Don't let my baby die. Deputy Nix attempted to revive the child, named Kingston, and he took one breath, but it was faint, WKMG-TV reported. Deputy Nix had radioed for an ambulance, but he couldn't wait. I didn't have time, the deputy said. This baby didn't have time to wait on an ambulance. The off-duty K-9 officer then took drastic action that they don't teach at the police academy. Thinking quickly, Deputy Nix decided the fastest way to give Little Kingston a chance to live would be to utilize his patrol vehicle's lights and sirens to speed through traffic on the crowded highway. He told the mother, Nicole Crowell, to follow him as he drove the child to the nearest hospital. The deputy arrived at the emergency room just in the nick of time. The hero was humble as he thanked God. In my 17 years of doing this job, that was the most scary, emotional, and rewarding day ever, Deputy Nick said. I remember praying, thanking God for putting me in the right place at the right time for the right reason. On its official YouTube page, the Marion County Sheriff's Office praised the hero, saying, Deputy Nix delivered the child to medical personnel who then began treating the child. We are happy to report that baby Kingston is doing very well and doctors say he will make a full recovery. The sheriff's office affirmed, doctors said that because of K-9 Deputy Nix's actions, baby Kingston is alive today. Deputy Nix visited young Kingston in the hospital, accompanied by his wife, and the scene was one of emotional relief and gratitude. The visit underscored the deep connection between the officer and the family he had saved. Kingston's mom spoke of her gratitude on Facebook. Let me just say that yesterday God showed me just how real he was, she wrote. My son King was barely breathing and fighting for his life. My sister and I noticed an officer sitting at a red light and we got his attention. With his fast thinking, he and God saved my son. His word to me was, don't you worry, I will not leave until I help save your son. God had me in the right place because he knew you needed me. Thank you, Officer Jay Nix from the Ocala Sheriff's Office K-9 unit, the thankful mom wrote. I just wanted the world to know how great this officer is and how great God is. Not all officers are bad. He's one of many good guys. King and I will forever appreciate you. Her words of appreciation highlighted the impact of Deputy Nix's actions, reflecting a broader message of hope and faith in humanity. This incident is not only a testament to Deputy Nix's quick thinking and bravery, but also a reminder of the profound impact that ordinary individuals can have in extraordinary situations. The dash cam footage, which captured the dramatic rescue, provides a stark visual of the high-stress moments as Deputy Nix navigated through traffic, with his emergency lights flashing and sirens blaring to clear the way. The footage also serves as a poignant reminder of the risks and challenges that first responders face daily, often working under intense pressure to save lives. In the days following the incident, the community rallied around Deputy Nix and the Crowell family, with many expressing their support and gratitude. Social media posts and local news coverage celebrated the heroism of Deputy Nix, and the story quickly spread. Resonating with people across the country, it became a powerful narrative about the intersection of duty, compassion, and faith. The medical team at the hospital, who worked tirelessly to stabilize and treat Kingston, also received commendations for their part in this life-saving effort. Their expertise, combined with Deputy Nix's decisive actions, ensured that Kingston received the critical care he needed in those crucial moments. In reflecting on the events, Deputy Nix's humility and gratitude were evident. He recognized the significance of his actions but remained focused on the bigger picture. 
I am just grateful that I was in the right place at the right time, he said. It's a reminder of the important work that we do and the difference we can make in people's lives. The story of Deputy Jeremy Nix and Baby Kingston is a powerful example of how courage and quick thinking can make a life or death difference. It underscores the importance of being prepared for the unexpected and highlights the incredible impact that one person's actions can have on another's life. As we share this story, let us remember the bravery of those who serve and the profound ways in which their dedication can touch lives in moments of crisis. Some may see this as a coincidence. But not Deputy Jeremy Nix and Mom Neckel Crowell, who both felt the loving hand of God guiding them that fateful day. This extraordinary event serves as a powerful reminder of the miraculous and often unseen forces that can shape our lives and of the heroes among us who rise to meet the challenges of the moment with unwavering resolve and compassion. The ripple effects of Deputy Nix's heroic actions extended beyond the immediate rescue. The incident prompted an outpouring of support and recognition from the Ocala community and beyond. Local schools, civic groups, and even neighboring law enforcement agencies praised Deputy Nix for his extraordinary bravery. Community leaders organized a small ceremony to honor him, where they highlighted not just his quick thinking in a life-threatening situation, but also his commitment to his role as a public servant. The ceremony was attended by the Crowell family, who expressed their profound appreciation for the officer's life-saving actions. This recognition served as a reminder of the positive impact that acts of courage can have on a community, reinforcing the bond between law enforcement and the public they serve. Additionally, the story of Deputy Nix and Kingston sparked a broader conversation about the importance of first responders and the often unseen pressures they face. Many people took to social media and community forums to discuss the critical role of police officers, emergency medical personnel, and other first responders in saving lives and providing essential services. This dialogue also highlighted the need for continued support and resources for these professionals who regularly put their lives on the line to protect others. The narrative of Deputy Nix's swift action and the subsequent recovery of Baby Kingston served as a powerful testament to the selflessness and dedication of those who work tirelessly behind the scenes, often without the recognition they deserve.